welcome to the site of the United Downs Deep Geothermal Power Project. From this site, later this year, we'll be drilling two deep holes to explore and unlock the geothermal potential of the granites five kilometres underneath Cornwall. Geothermal energy is the heat from the earth. In Cornwall, we're blessed with having granite underlying most of the county, and that produces heat, which means the temperature gradients here are higher than anywhere else in the UK. So what we're looking at is natural fractures within the granite that conduct water through them. We're in a mine in West Cornwall, and if you look behind, you can see there's water coming in to the mine. That water comes in through the fractures in the rock. So what we want to do at United Downs is to target a big fault structure called the Fault Town Fault, which we believe will have all the characteristics of natural jointing, of natural flow going through the rock that we can target into and use and get heat from there. This is a perfect example of a fault. The fault that we'll be using for the United Downs Deep Geothermal Project runs all the way from Port Tawen on the north coast through to Falmouth on the south coast. Faults like this can be found throughout the length of Cornwall, so once we've proven that the technology works, we hope to roll out geothermal projects throughout the county with similar geology. There is actually a very long history of geothermal research in Cornwall. Back in the 1980s, there was a very significant research project here at Rosenau's Quarry near Penryn, where three holes were drilled to depths of two and a half thousand metres. This is one of them. When we've completed our work at United Downs, we'll end up with two holes just like this one, one as an ejector, and one to produce fluid to the surface. One of the benefits of geothermal energy compared to perhaps other renewables is that once a power plant is operating, it operates more or less continuously, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. There will also be a good deal of heat generated that we can distribute for local use in space heating, perhaps in greenhouses, perhaps in leisure facilities. Throughout the drilling, testing and operation of the United Downs system, we'll be continuously monitoring the microseismic activity. That's something we did here at Roseman Hours too, with a comprehensive system installed for the purpose. And over the eight years that we circulated water between these three wells, we monitored and detected more than 10,000 microseismic events. Of those, only two were felt at surface by the local community, both very small, about the equivalent of a door slamming in a building. We've been through a lengthy selection process to find the right drilling rig for this purpose. It has to be big enough to be capable of drilling the very deep holes in such hard rocks, but small enough to fit on this compact site, and quiet enough so that we can carry out the whole drilling operation without disturbing our neighbours. The drilling operation will take six to seven months of continuous work, and at the end of that period, the drilling rig will be removed from the site and be gone permanently. After that, we'll carry out a series of tests to be able to size the power plant that we'll put on this site to demonstrate the technology. If this pilot project is successful, it will enable us to unlock further geothermal, green, clean, renewable energy for use for the benefit of everybody living in Cornwall.